According to Fortune, quote, Federal prosecutors have asked a judge to sentence disgraced Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes to 15 years in prison, arguing she deserves a lengthy prison term because her massive scheme duped investors out of hundreds of millions of dollars by falsely convincing them her company had developed a revolutionary blood testing device, what? calling the case one of the most substantial white-collar offenses Silicon Valley or any other district has seen. Prosecutors vehemently rejected defense attorneys' characterization that Holmes had been unfairly victimized, in part by the media coverage, end quote. If you don't know the full story of Elizabeth Holmes, she is the founder of Theranos, a company that claimed to be able to detect hundreds of diseases with just the prick of a finger using innovative technology they created. And Elizabeth Holmes has been convicted on three felony counts of wire fraud and one felony count of conspiracy to commit fraud. Jesus she faces up to 20 years in prison for each count and defrauded investors of well over $100 million, put people's lives in danger, and will be sentenced for her crimes on November 18, 2022. There is so much more to the story, but I am focusing on the prosecution's desire to see her serve significant jail time because quite often white-collar criminals don't serve as much time as their crimes dictate they should serve, yeah. and Ms. Holmes' legal team has already expressed their desire to see their clients serve only 18 months on house arrest. Oh, no. no. This did not happen. No. no. According to Fortune, the prosecution is saying, quote, she repeatedly chose lies, hype, and the prospect of billions of dollars over patient safety and fair dealing with investors. Assistant U.S. Attorney Robert S. Leach wrote in a 46-page brief filed Friday, Elizabeth Holmes' crimes were not failing. They were lying, lying in the most serious context where everyone needed her to tell the truth. Holmes's attorneys filed an 82-page document late Thursday calling for a lenient sentence of no more than 18 months, saying her reputation was permanently destroyed, turning her into a caricature to be mocked and vilified. <laughs> Besides asking that Holmes receive a lengthy prison sentence, prosecutors called for the 38-year-old to pay $803,840,309 in restitution for her role in the years-long scheme that turned her into one of the most widely respected and immensely wealthy entrepreneurs in the Silicon Valley and the United States, end quote. <laughs> So the question that everyone and their mama is asking is how much jail time will Elizabeth Holmes ultimately serve? Yeah. She is on her second baby as she awaits sentencing yeah. and her former COO, Ramesh Balwani, convicted on 12 felony counts of patient and investor fraud, will be sentenced on December 7th, 2022. So what the public and I want to know is, will Elizabeth Holmes be at home for Thanksgiving or not? If you want more information on this case, go to Charlie Reed Crime Stories on YouTube. I will put a link to the video in the description box. Gosh, folks, I just hope everything comes together for you from the turkey to the potatoes. and You and everyone with you can come together and have a wonderful and happy big old Thanksgiving and a nice burp afterwards. Bloopers. Besides asking that Holmes receive a lengthy prison sentence, prosecutors called for the 38-year-old to pay 803800 Here I go with messing up the money. It's in the millions. Holmes's attorneys filed... Okay, too much emphasis. Sounds ridiculous. <laughs> 